Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A significant ship finds alters everything the curse of Oak Island's eighth season centers on the discovery of a significant ship that could change the course of the inquiry completely. The gang discovers a polished piece of wood that resembles a handrail which prompts them to surmise that it was once a section of a ship's railing that was attached to the surrounding stone road. This finding adds to the body of data that suggests the wetland once served as an open seaport. However, a large object is impeding their efforts and keeping them from going any further. The gang remains unwavering in their resolve to explore the marsh and learn what lies beneath its surface. Despite this obstacle, Despite the fact that a significant ship finding has completely changed everything, one of the objects that the crew discovers is a polished piece of wood that resembles a railing. They believe it to be a fragment of a ship's railing and that it is attached to the surrounding stone path. This would provide another piece of evidence that the marsh formerly served as an open harbor. They encounter a large item though, which prohibits them from exploring further and learning more. They won't stop looking until they find what's hidden there since the group is certain that the swamp holds the knowledge they require during the eighth season of the Curse of Oak Island. A significant shipwreck is discovered and made public. The group finds a significant relic that has the power to change the direction their search will take, which throws everything into confusion. The find raises questions about the ship's history and purpose, while also giving the members new causes for optimism and excitement. The group is more motivated than ever to carry out their inquiry and uncover new clues that could ultimately unveil the secrets of Oak Island. As the mystery grows more baffling, a number of shipping logs were found by the brothers, providing proof that an armada of French soldiers reached Oak Island in 1746. The Duke Donville expedition, which was sent from France with the goal of retaking Louisbourg, may have been the source of the artifacts. One of the most thrilling metal detector discoveries on the show happened in the first season. Steve Zizzer discovered a copper coin of the Spanish Eight denomination. The object was probably moved there at some point in the 17th century. During the second season of The Curse of Oak Island, Metal detectors helped uncover more old coins. Gary Drayton found two Britannia coins from King Charles V's reign while walking along the door. It was hidden beneath a layer of rocks, one of which had the year 1771 carved into its surface and potate. When the crew inspected one of the coins, they found that season in the episode, titled The 90-Foot Stone. They discovered what appeared to be a cross symbol on one side of the coin. The show had the name the 90-foot stone. The greatest degree of hope was given to the searchers by this specific treasure that was discovered on Oak Island in 2022 or before. Was it appropriate to utilize it in a financial institution? An episode from the fifth season of the show focused on one of the most significant archaeological finds discovered throughout the course of the series. Drayton and Rick Legina found a solid lead cross at the seashore. After bringing their metal detectors there, it was discovered after analysis that the artifact most likely originated in the 13th century. Additional investigation establishes a link between Oak Island and the Knight Templar in subsequent episodes. Another of Drayton and Rick Lean's gems was uncovered with a metal detector in the sixth season's opening episode. To search for hidden wealth, they traveled to a region of the island that had not previously been investigated. They moved a big boulder, dragged it up from under it, and found copper in a well-preserved cartwheel. Drayton uses his metal detector to focus on a signal, which Rick Legina uses as a guide to find and unearth a jeweled brooch. Leaded glass was used to make the gem, and gold was utilized to make the other parts of the jewelry. This archaeological gem was uncovered thanks to the use it of ground thought to be a crossbow bolt, but an authority on antiquities has speculated that it might have been a javelin, 
a weapon used by the Romans more than 2,000 years ago. The teen finds a metal object in the second episode of the ninth season that appears to be the object they have been looking for since the beginning of the show. Further inspection reveals that only a small fraction of the object is truly made of gold. Through each season, the show explores the exploits of full-time treasure hunters and the secrets surrounding Oak Island. Only grow more complicated for historical research. Their findings made with metal detectors open up previously imagined doors, but you can get the same results with your own gear. Always make sure to get permission before searching for anything on someone else's property or in open space. It is widely acknowledged that the discovery of the island's money pit marked the beginning of the history of treasure hunting on Oak Island. The pit, often known as the money pit, is a human-made hole that is frequently assumed to be the location of the lost treasures. The story goes that in 1795, while on an adventure on the island, a group of boys around the age of 13 discovered a dip in the earth. They began digging since they believed it to be a fake hole, and as they dug, they found multiple layers of wood and other things. However, a mysterious flood stopped them in their tracks, filling the hole with water and blocking any further excavation as soon as word of the discovery spread. Seekers from all over the world flocked to Oak Island to look for the loot. The Onslow Company, a group of financiers, organized the first orderly excavation of the money pit in the year 1803. Despite their best efforts, the gang was unable to reach the bottom of the hole, and as a result, they had to cease digging. Many various groups made attempts to unravel the riddle surrounding the island throughout the course of the ensuing century, but they were all in vain. The most serious of these was the flooding of the pit, which made it unsafe and difficult to further research in the area. The hole was also equipped with a number of intricate devices that, when activated, would force the pit to overflow with water and prevent access to the treasure. Please subscribe and post notifications if you want to learn about more exciting discoveries. Despite these challenges, the excavations continued and the Oak Island Treasure Company was founded in 1861. This specific team was able to dig down to a depth of 90 feet before the flooding that happened in the pit once more hampered their attempts. The excavations were permanently halted in 1909 as the Oak Island Treasure Company went out of business. Since then, several other parties have made an effort to find the treasure buried on Oak Island but the riddle of the money pit has remained unsolved to this day. The discovery of the money pit and the initial excavations on the island both had a significant impact on the history of the island and the ongoing search for treasure there. Despite the challenges and barriers that were faced, this is true. The 300 years that have been spent looking for treasure on Oak Island have not lessened interest in the mystery. Despite the numerous difficulties and failures that have been encountered, a number of new organizations have stepped up to the plate in recent years with the goal of unlocking the island's mysteries. One of the most significant recent events was the founding in 2010 of the Oak Island Tourism Society, an institution dedicated to the preservation of the island's heritage and the promotion of tourism. The organization has significantly contributed to raising public knowledge of Oak Island and the treasure hunt. The group has also participated in a number of island-wide archaeological digs. Unusual force discovered on an unusual island. To learn more right away, simply click the video below. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay with us.